Greetings ladies and gentle fish and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. This time we are going to finally set foot into the dark city of Trino. So, um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Princess, this is Trino, the city of nobles. We need to find out which noble has the super soft. There aren't many nobles living here. The nights are long. It's a great place for thieves. People like you turn this city into a slum. Let's steal the super soft and get this over with. Steal? How dare you? Do you think I'd let you commit a crime before my very eyes? How else would we get the super soft? Quiet! I will not allow such disgraceful behaviour. I never asked you to come along. Quit complaining. Don't you talk back to me. First of all, uh oh, do not interrupt me while I'm talking. Look behind you. What? Princess, I urge you not to- Princess? No, not again. Never have I dealt with such hardship during my 18 years of service. This is all because of you and your scoundrel fr- Gone. An Alexandrian knight must not let such a frivolous matter get to him. I must find the princess. Or once again, time for some ATEs. Trino tradition. This one is important. There is going to be a man who walks past Garnet. Press the button when the exclamation mark is over her head. Come back here. Was that a pickpocket? I should be careful. Hey, where's my money? P pickpocket. Dagger lost 500 gil. If you do not push the button, you lose 1,000 gil. Why would you ever want to watch that ATE? More on that later. Um, it does actually serve a purpose. Now, before we get too far away from this central area, over here we have a coin. Uh, sorry, a um, fountain. We're going to throw in 10 gil and we feel happier. Honest to God, keep doing this. You will be rewarded. It takes about 15 times or something. It's not the money, it's just the time and the repetitiveness of this that gets irritating. That's what, three or four? You feel happier. Yay! Oh, by all means, get yourself a comic, read it. Find a child who's willing to just do this repetitive thing. Whatever it is. Throw in 10 gil, you feel happier. Oh, God. Still going. We'll get there eventually. Another coin appeared when you threw in your coin. Received Gemini. You just got another Stelazio. Um, key items, Gemini. Gemini thought by the river, I will sing her a song. He didn't know where she was, but he hoped his song would reach her. There's another Stelazio coin. Right, so we have acquired the Stelazio Gemini. Um, you can now go to either the left or the right. Um, can you go to the left? You can go to the left. Uh, choose whichever direction you want. We're going to go right. But you go whichever way you want, really. Um, another ATE. Confusion! This is not a very nice city. Better find Supersoft fast and get back to Alexandria. Uh, maybe not this way. Yeah, I won't find the Supersoft over there. Oh! Excuse me, have you heard of a thing called Supersoft? Huh? My wife? She died three years ago. No, I'm looking for an item that cures all petrification. Oh really? I'm doing fine, but thanks for asking. I may be old, but I'm still healthy. Um, thank you very much. You're still young! Don't give up! Good luck! Bless him, he's a bit deaf. <laughs> right, if you pop into here, this is an inn. If you uh, need it, want it, you can use it to regain your health if you have a chat to the person up here. Ah, oh, come on. We go. It costs 100 gil. We're not going to bother. Then buzz off. Delightful. Um, we're not going to bother right now, but you can. A bearded man with glasses and some guy went down the staircase. But I can't let you through without my boss's permission. Sorry. 
Okay, so that's the only thing you can really do here. You can restore your health uh, if you so wish. Down here, there's a few things for you. Treasure chest. Yeti card. Another treasure chest. Received one gill. One whole gill. Woo hoo. Oh my god, so shiny. And there's the Taurus. Stelazio. So, if we go down. Oops. Taurus. Taurus had an idea. He would give Virgo a gift. Through the forest and over the mountain, he found a star. Um. Doop, 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 doop. And that's about it. Now, there is. There is a shop here. We've got a wide selection. Take your time and see. Uh, you can buy medicine again if you think your compatriot Zidane and Co might actually need some. Go for it. Um. Again, I still think I've got plenty, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. And back up here. Onwards. Take a good look around, Mario. We're going to get out of this slum someday and live in a mansion on the waterfront. We're going to become nobles, right, sis? Yeah, about that. Right, so you push on through here. Another ATE for you to watch with Unexpected Visitor. Oh! This must be an auction house. Maybe I can find the super soft here. Recognise someone. Hmm. Mm. Well, that bodes, doesn't it? Right. And you knock a Moogle out of their little perch over here. Um, we're going to get to that Moogle later on. I'm going to go this way first. Now, this is the card playing place. Uh, the card game is a tournament that runs here. You'll have to take part as part of story later on. Uh, you can go in there to have some matches now. I'm not going to, but you can. Trino Shop sells items from all over. It's an excellent place to prepare for a journey. I have to get my usual, and what do you want? I have nothing to say to the likes of you. If we go this way... Uh, basically, going this way would take us back to the front... Uh, area, the initial area. Uh, if we go over here, there's a treasure chest through here that gets us a Mithril Dagger. So if you didn't already have one, you would now. And the door is locked, so we can't go any further along here for now. Because plot. So we're going to go back down here. And we're going to hook a left. Now, you want to interrogate this man. Four-armed man, by the way, this is a reference to a certain recurring Final Fantasy character. What do you want? Have you seen a beautiful young princess? I mean a girl around here? Nah, I didn't see any cute girl with long hair. What? What did you say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. I never said I stole any money from her. I, I bought a power belt with her money. I'll give it to you. Forgive me! Come back here! coward. This is why you want to trigger that ATE where Garnet gets money stolen off of her, because you get a power belt. And if you can press the button at the right time to halve the amount of money she th the, the guy thieves, you actually get a power belt at a pretty reasonable cost. 500 gil for a power belt? Yes, please. There we go. Um, and if we continue going through here... Then we come across the synthesis shop. Now, at this stage, honestly, you're going to come across desert boots later, so I wouldn't bother synthing them. Coral ring, you can. So that's the thing we got in um, the accessory that we got from the Festival of the Hunt. You can now make one if you really want to, but honestly, there's nothing here I would recommend that you bother synthesizing. Um, but it's there if you want it. So, we're now going to make our way back, and through here. Now, if you follow the waterfront around, right at the end, you can find an ether. And, you know I keep mentioning those Stelazio coins? Yeah. You brought Stelazio for Queen Stella? It better not be a fake, that bird lady can tell right away. 
She didn't fall for my cheap imitations, Delazio. Well, I have five for the real deal. So, here we go. The Stelazio wench. Please bring the Stelazio to the Queen when you find them. The Queen will reward you with a gift when you do, and the rewards are pretty nice. I am collecting star-shaped coins called Stelazio. Oh, you have the Scorpio. Give it to me in return for a reward. Will you give me your Scorpio? Yes. Oh, you are most kind. Now give it to me. Perhaps not the best turn of phrase they could have used, but never mind. Quack, quack, quack. She quacks or laughs or something. You may take the reward from my servant. Received a thousand gil. Okay, some money. Fair enough. Oh, you have the cancer. Give it to me in return for a reward. That's the only time you will ever hear someone ask for your cancer in return for a reward. Um, but there we go. And that's the second one. You may take the reward from my servant. Phoenix Pinion. Again, that's nice, but, you know, the rewards do get progressively better and better. Here you go. Yep, you may take it from my servant. There's 2,000 gil. Two more to give. There's the Taurus. And all these coins somehow... Also, can I point out, she said they were star-shaped. No, they're not! Anyway. Blood Sword, that's the money maker. But we do have one more to give to her. There's Ares. And there you go, my dear. I think that's all the ones we got for now. What am I going to get for this thing? It's money. Yep, 5k gil. I'm only interested in collecting Stelazio now. The reason I wanted to do that now was because we get the Blood Sword. The Blood Sword is A, a very powerful weapon for Steiner at the moment, B, it allows him to learn the Dark Side ability, and C, when you attack people with it, you restore your own health. Which is useful for a fight when you're on your own. Speaking of which... We're going to fiddle with Steiner's abilities. Right. Let's get rid of Bug Killer. Let's get rid of all this unnecessary tap. For now. We'll swap them back later. Right. Abilities that you want. Hang on. Where's... Or do I not have it available yet? I can't remember. Okay, that's fine. Do we have any? Thunder, water, nope. Ice reduced. Wind damage reduced by 50%. We are going to swap out our linen cuirass for the bronze armor. It reduces some of our stats, however, it uh, reduces wind damage received by 50%, which is important. Uh, we were fiddling with abilities, so we want Bird Killer, we want MP Attack. That boosts your attack power in exchange for burning through a bit of your MP. We want that. Bug Killer, Undead Killer, Beast Killer. Let's go with Counter. No point having cover, because we're going to fight something on our own in a moment. Bright Eyes Antibody are pointless, but let's equip Bright Eyes anyway. Level up, doesn't matter. Right. With all that said and done... Is there a shop round here? I don't think so. We're open to members only. Yeah, a bunch of pompous twazzocks. Um, with all that done, we're now going to make our way all the way back here. And we're going to... Wait. There we go. Let's release the Moogle again. We're really good friends. Excellent. There's a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together, Kupo. There's trouble in this rainy city. The guys I saw here were heading towards Rube Desert, west of Bamesia. They'll only find sandstorms. What could they possibly want? I'm going to follow them and see. Rube Desert is so far away. Stiltskin is amazing, Kupo. I want mail, Kupo. And we're going to save our game here. Now, I've constantly been banging on and on and on 
and on about how we're going to have a fight with Steiner on his own. And actually it's quite useful that we had that Mandragora fight earlier on, because it means he's a higher level than he usually is. My Steiner is currently level 9. And I've got an item that reduces wind damage, which is important. If we go in here, you see that cage beneath our feet with a giant great griffin in it? Hmm. So, periodically, you can come back to this place, and the owner of this arena thing will have a new monster that you can challenge to fight, and you get rewards for fighting them. This is the first one. Old woman, what can I do for you? She also has a shop, by the way, so you can buy things like a da dagger, mage masher, methyl dagger, methyl sword, which we could have stolen from um, Beatrix in that fight, but we didn't, but we're not going to buy it now. Air racket, methyl rod, flame staff. So you can buy some staffs for Vivi. You don't have to. You're going to find them later on anyway. You can buy a needle fork. Again, you're going to find upgrades later on anyway. Bone wrist. I will buy one of them, however. Uh, bandana, yeah, I'll buy a bandana, and chainmail, hmm, yeah, we'll buy the chainmail, um, pretty sure, ah, that's where you get, okay, so this is where you have a choice, you can either equip the chainmail for HP plus 10%, or the bronze armor to reduce wind damage by 50%. I recommend the latter. Usually I've actually equipped the chainmail, but I'm going to recommend that you uh, equip the bronze armor for the reduced wind damage, because otherwise this griffin thing does have a uh, wind-based attack that does an awful lot of damage. It'd be nice if you could halve that. What's that monster down there? The master of the Knight family who owns the building keeps that monster as a pet. He likes to see people challenge it and get beat up. I want to fight that monster. Are you sure? I can't guarantee your safety. Go stand in the middle of the cage and you literally get dropped in. You just get a reward if you kill it. It's not as if the master gets really angry or anything. So here we go. I don't, I'm actually going to let this griffin... Uh, not. There we go, 896 damage, and I heal myself. Griffin is going to use Aera. You know that wind-based attack I was referring to? We're going to halve it. Probably still going to take a lot of damage. Oh, we only took 198 because we're a higher level and wind damage is reduced by half. Two hits, killed it. That fight is so much easier with a little bit of preparation. Without that preparation, it's horribly difficult. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it. Here's your prize. Received Tombri card. Let's have a look at the Tombri card. He's so cute. Where is he? He'll be over here. There he is. Okay, so we're now going to equip Steiner again for less ridiculous things. So we're going to go back to the Iron Sword. Um, bronze Armor. We're going to swap out for the Chain Mail. And that's fine. And his abilities. Right, okay, so let's. Let's just. Um, get rid of all of these. Now, um. It is going to be worthwhile making sure that all of your party members have, um. Antibody. Or as many as you can. That is my recommendation. Let's get rid of Bird Killer. So we want antibody. I want level up as well, because why on earth wouldn't you? All these killer abilities are very nice, but they're not actually going to be colossally useful. Um, at least not yet that I can think of. Uh, no, bug killer will be. I tell a lie, thinking about it. Bug killer will be useful. Um, we're going to then go for cover. So that Steiner can take a bit of damage instead of one of the squishier characters. There we go. Um, there we go. Fight done. Bit of preparation, and it was a really easy fight. So we're just going to save our game again, because we did it. Why not? And then there's only one bit of this city that we've got left to visit. Well, two bits, but one of those we can only visit because story. Um... 
There we go. Saved again. And we now have quite a lot of money. So if we go up here... This is the auction house. And just here or something. Somewhere around about here. Oh. There's a big chunk of gill. And this is the auction house. And we finally find the princess. Princess, thank goodness I found you. I was worried. How can I find Super Soft when I keep having to listen to your complaints? Such harsh words. I don't think it's here anyway. Where's Marcus? I do not know. Maybe Marcus found it already. Are you coming? I'm going with or without you. I, I shall follow you, princess. And you are reunited with... I've seen him before. A slightly ominous glance up to where you saw... If you recognise him, Kuja. Uh, up on the side, which is a little disconcerting. So we're going to equip a bandana to dagger for the insomniac ability. Ah, uh, bone wrist. It's not an ability she can actually learn, so I'm a little hesitant. Um, we will equip the insomniac ability, however. There we go. And we're going to go back in the auction house. You can buy things at the auction. They can just be pretty cripplingly expensive. Today's items are a mini Sid. Doga's Artifact, Un's Mirror, and a Reflect Ring. I would actually quite like some of that. I'm never going to be able to afford the Reflect Ring. Now, there are some items I'm going to get from the auction that will seem useless, but they will become useful later on. A little tip with the auction, don't bid early on because it artificially inflates the price. Instead, pretty much wait for everyone else to finish bidding and then throw yours in. I just heard 1700 gil. 1700 gil anymore. And someone already said 1900. I just heard 1900 gil. 2000. I just heard 2000 gil. 2100. I just heard 2100 gil. It can be a bit tedious, but you want to be patient. 2100 gil anymore. 2,200 gil. And if you put it, this is really cheeky, if you put it in right at that point, just as he's about to put the hammer down, he will put the hammer down, but it will be for your price, and you will win the auction. And no one else will have an opportunity to interject. So, Doga's Artifact. We want Doga's Artifact. So we'll just let the price go up for a bit. We've actually got a respectable amount of money, 18,569 gil to spend. I would like Dogger's Artifact and Un's Mirror if I possibly can. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to buy both. I'm going to try. In my head, I've got that Un's Mirror is more expensive than Dogger's Artifact. And the artifact is going up in price quite a lot. But this is the only way to get these items. So... 9,400 gil. I just heard 9,400 gil. 9,500. I just heard 9,500 gil. 9, 6. I just heard 9,600 gil. 9,600 gil anymore, and then you go in with 9,700. Just 100 gil more than the previous bid. That's the minimum amount you can increase it for. So, we've got Dogger's Artifact. Are we going to be able to afford Oon's Mirror? We'll find out. Starting at 2,200. How much money have we got left? 8,869. It's probably going to go out of our price range. We'll have to come back for it another time. 6,300, 64, 67, 68, 72, 73, 84, 86, 89, and there we go, it's out of our price range. And I can guarantee the reflect ring will be too expensive. Not that we really need it right now. But we were able to get Doga's artifact, which is quite nice. Now, the mini Sid serves no actual purpose. May this flesh turn into clay, may this blood turn into water. God of chaos, trap the soul forever in this form. 
It's just a collectible. Doga's artifact and Un's mirror. We seek magic as a way of life. We create dreams after life. Are both items you require in order to later on get yourself the Excalibur sword. Which is quite nice. Um, nonetheless, we have now been reunited with um, Princess Garnet. So, we need to find Marcus. This way. Actually, let me... What the dagger's abilities like? Has she got antibody? Yes, she has. What about Steiner? Has he got antibody? Yes, he has. Excellent. Wait, is that the right way? No, it's not. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Up here. Along here. And we're going to go back to the pub. And there's Marcus. What's up? We're ready to retrieve the super stuff. Good. At last we can save blank. When do we leave? We can leave right away. So you're coming along, huh? Yep. Let's go. Princess! Please wait. Boss is waiting at the dock. Boss, you mean... Yep, there's only one man we call boss. Now, Steiner's going to irritate you all the way down. Maybe a trap you cannot trust Chris criminals, think of the consequences, you are a princess, blah blah blah. Princess, do you know that breaking and entering is a crime? I need to make sure you don't steal anything else. Let's go. Damn it, I'm coming along. It is my duty to protect the princess from bad influence. Do whatever you want. Always talking about your duty. Ain't you got any thoughts of your own? Don't you talk back to me, I am escorting the princess. I thought you might have changed after travelling with Zidane, but you ain't changed. Do you even know why you're here? What do you mean? Let's just go, okay? How was Bamesia? Not bad. Better if I didn't have to see those vermin and the ugly elephant lady. They offend my senses. You must be tired. It's not over yet, the rest of the vermin. Ah, sorry must be done away with. Will you be heading to Clara then? Yes, I trust you will deliver them. Certainly, I shall prepare now. By the way, did you see a pretty lady in the crowd today? A pretty lady? Shall I arrange a meeting? There's no need. The canary I've been after, she flew into my cage of her own free will. Never would I have imagined running into you in a place like this. It must be fate. But you cannot rest your wings yet. Fly home to your mother, my little canary. I, too, will welcome you home with open arms. Well, that's not sinister. <coughs> what in the world am I doing? I'm assisting thieves in committing a crime. No, I must be patient. Protect the princess, escort her back to the castle. Focus on your duties. Trust the queen. She would never commit an atrocity. There must be a good reason. No thoughts of my own? Nonsense. How can I, a lowly knight, understand the queen's thinking? I need not worry about the ramblings of a criminal. Just think about escorting the princess home. I'll probably never see him again. He was the culprit. He pulled the princess and me into his intrigues. It was your fault, Zidane. If you hadn't treated me like a child, I wouldn't be here hunting after Supersoft to save one of your friends. Why am I doing this? Because Blank saved me? Yes, he saved me. He saved my life. The least I can do is return the favour. But I never thought about things like this before. How are we to find Super Soft in this mountain of boxes? Just find it. Someone's coming. Oh, I can't believe I ran out of ink on a night like this. I must find more ink and go back to the observatory. Should I take care of him? Wait. 
Princess, no! Hmm? Y you're I've missed you, Dr. Tot. P Princess! Princess Garnet! Dr. Tot? You know him? Dr. Tot is the highly respected scholar who tutored the princess. Ah, oh, Master Steiner, you must be quiet or you'll wake the shopkeeper. But, Princess, what on earth are you doing here? It's a long story. We're looking for Super Soft right now. There is a proper reason for this. We are not here to steal or commit any form of crime. Somebody down there? Run along. I will give you Super Soft later. Go left from the Trino entrance and continue until you find a large tower. That tower is my home. It's locked, but I shall unlock the door and await your arrival. Alright, let's go back. Thank you, Dr. Tot. I'll see you later. Oh, it's you, Dr. Tot. Ah, great timing. I ran out of ink. You should have called me. I'll get yelled at if our inventory is wrong. Princess. Hmm. So, this Tootsie is going to give a super soft. It's Tot. Achoo! Whatever. I can't believe Tantalus is at the mercy of some old man. <laughs> I guess we've got to keep babysitting the princess. Still, he ain't going to give us the super soft unless you're with the princess. That's the deal, princess. I'm asking you to take Marcus to this toot. It's tot. I was going to anyway. Well, get some rest before you go. I'm sure Ted needs time to prepare. It's tot. Right. So you have another opportunity to prepare yourself for... Well, let's just say for things. Um, you will be embarking on a segment um, from which there will be a boss fight. Let's put it that way. So I do strongly recommend uh, that you heal up if you need to. Prepare as you see fit. It's not a massively difficult boss fight, but it is a boss fight. Remember that door that we couldn't get into earlier on because it was locked? Yeah, not so much anymore. <coughs> oh. Dr. Tot. Princess, thank you for coming. Welcome to my humble abode. This is your home? I travelled quite far in search of a sponsor for my research after I departed Alexandria. I finally found one here in Trina. You have grown into a fine young woman. I'm pleased to see you again. Dr. Tot, you look quite well. Ah, Master Steiner, you are escorting the princess? Yes, sir. I deeply regret my earlier actions. Still a straight arrow, aren't you? I'm sure you had your reasons, but I won't ask why. The super soft is in the box right there. Please take it. Don't mind if I do. Have you no manners? Thank the good doctor. It's quite alright, Master Steiner. Right. Now I can save my bro. I can't believe I must travel with a lowly criminal. Master Tot, is this Gaia? Yes, it's a globe of our planet, Gaia. I remember your lessons. Do you remember the ramblings of an old fool? Two phrases are commonly found in documents more than 500 years ago. One is dual, the other is summoner tribe, but 500 years ago the phrases mysteriously vanished from history. The archaeologist Frederick Ash theorised that dual refers to the pendant passed down to the ruler of Alexandria. But the pendant, it is much too small to be referring to the same dual. Other research suggests a relationship between eidolons and magical stones. Dr. Tot! Ah, Princess. Were you reading big books again? <laughs> I have already read every book in this library. But I think better when I'm surrounded by old books. Really? I don't like books. You are a person of dignity. It's imperative that you study hard. I know, I know. Oh, but I was quite taken by that book you gave me. What was it called? It was... Was it I Want to Be Your Canary by Lord Avon? Oh yes, that's the one. So there is a book I like after all. My, my. What's this, Dr. Tot? That is a globe of Gaia. It's a model of our planet. A Gaia globe? I never knew our castle was shaped like a sphere. <laughs> we live on the surface, Princess. Ah yes, the stars. They inspired the theories relating stones and eidolons. 
That is why... Oh, I'm sorry, I was lost in thought again. It's okay. Where is my room on this globe? Oh, your room is much too small to point out on this globe. What about the castle? That I can do. How long has it been? Eight years? Time passes quickly. But I haven't changed. I continue to collect and research these items. Where did you find this globe? It's an antique. It's broken, as you can see, but I use it as an observation deck. Ironic, isn't it? Looking up at the sky from inside a globe. It sure is. Princess, I don't mean to meddle in your affairs, but I am on your side, now and forever. Please tell me if there's anything I can do. Dr. Top. I think thank you is the phrase you were looking for. I see, so the Queen's forces have already grown quite powerful. Okay then, it may be dangerous, but I shall see it to it that you reach Alexandria. How? I had an old transportation device remodelled in the case of such an emergency. This way, please. Ah, we can finally return to Alexandria. I'm coming with you. What? Why? I can reach Blank more easily from Alexandria. Yes, come with us, Marcus. Okay, Steiner? Grrr. Let's go save Blank and restore my mother to her former self. Right. Um, those ramblings of Tot, by the way, about jewels and Eidolons, again, they'll be useful later on. Ah. Botherations. I wanted to talk to top. Please be equipped for battle. There are monsters underground. Please take the ladder inside the hole when you're ready. So, down we go. Whee! Gargan Roo. This is Gargan Roo, an ancient travel route between Trino and Alexandria. Why was this thing built under a tower? Actually, Gargan Roo was in use long before even the invention of airships. The tower was built on top of the disused tunnel, but it looks fairly new. I convinced Mr. Bishop to keep this place intact. I haven't used it since it was remodelled, mind you. We must first activate the tunnel connection sequence and call the Gargant inside. Let's see, where was the sequence trigger? Right. So all we have to do is find the sequence trigger. Princess, let us find it. Okay. Google time. Thanks for delivering a letter from Nazna, Kupo. Grimo is in Southgate's Bowden Station, sent me a letter saying that he feels sad when he sees Mary in love. But I think he feels that way because Grimo himself is in love, Kupo. Am I right? Hmm. I also know that Nazna is in love with Grimo. I want mail, Kupo. Right, save here. Once you exit this little area, um, the there are monsters to fight. So let's overwrite this. There we go. Oops. There we are. So we need to find this activation switch or sequencing f switch or something. Uh, there are two passages to go down. Let's go down the left one first. I honestly can't remember which one it is down. Uh, treasure chest. Chain plate. Wait, didn't I buy some chain plate as well? No, I bought chain mail. Okay. Chain plate. Oh, that will be... There we go, for example. I'm not going to equip it to Marcus, but... Yeah. Um, now, I feel I should point out... Uh, at this venture, I think... This is the last time you will use Marcus for a bit. So you could unequip Marcus of all of his items if you really wanted to. Um, but I don't think you use him again, but don't quote me on that. And honestly, the items that Marcus is wearing, they're not that valuable anyway. So, nah. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. And the longer he's alive, the easier you'll find the boss fight, the more stuff you can steal from the boss, things like that. So, Phoenix down and pull the lever. back and then we need to go this way is there a chest over here ah this is it this is where we call the gargant inside what do you mean gargan Trino station is shaped like a circle when you pull on that lever gargant circles around the station continuously i don't understand what you're saying better to show than tell princess will you pull on that lever 
Honk honk. But what is it? And that is the Gargant. Yes, a funky form of transportation. It's a giant insect that pulls the trolley. Next, we must halt the Gargant. So, you go this way, and Dr. Tot has forgotten again. Where was the lever? Literally right next to you, you wombat. Feed. It even says feed on it. Yes, that's the one the Gargant should stop when you pull the lever. Because food comes out. Om nom 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 nom. Please hurry, it'll resume once it's finished eating. Are you sure it won't keep going around in circles? It won't. I'll reverse the connection sequence and let the Gargan out of the station. Please look after the princess, Master Steiner. Of course. The princess is bright, but she is still young and naive. I am concerned about her safety. Please make your own decision on the matter at hand and protect her. I am but a humble knight. I cannot exceed my authority. Is that an honest answer? You may endanger the princess if you keep telling yourself that. But I shall take note of your counsel. Fare you well, princess. Take care, Dr. Tot. And away you go. I must hurry. I just pull the lever. Be safe, princess. Finally! We can reach Alexandria now. We can't even see Trino anymore. I wonder how long it's going to take. I never dreamed of going home in a vehicle like this. Dr. Tot remains a unique character. Ugh. What's wrong? It's hesitating. Good lord. Quite a long way to jump, actually. Princess! this be the reason? There isn't really much, there aren't really any tactics to this fight. Have um, Marcus steal as much as he can, have Steiner punch it in the face, have the princess heal. It does use poison and slow, which can be vaguely irritating. Um, I've got both Dagger and Steiner equipped with antibody for this reason. It's going to slow someone and it's princess. Uh, let's just have a defend. It's got around about 2,000 health if memory serves. Something like that. Um, so you're looking at around about 10 attacks if they do 250 damage each. Devil's Kiss, that is the attack that tends to... Uh, tends to poison. Hey, Bone Wrist. Sweet. It can be worth keeping the princess on standby for healing duties, especially if she's slow. Steiner attack. Mark the steel. Couldn't steal anything. And then get annoyed by everyone. Slow. Devil's kiss. Blah. And he's poisoned. So I'm just going to use. Panacea, which heals poison, Marcus, and he's not going to steal, and attack. Couldn't steal anything. Kapla! Devil's Kiss on Dagger again. She's protected against poison, so. Stone Reefle Fork! I think that's everything that this creature has. Gonna cure the entire party. But I'll still once more, just in case, um, check that I've got everything. Oh, well, that was the attack command. Never mind. I'll steal next time. Devil's Kiss! And he's poisoned again. Um, and I see it again. And Steiner attack. Steal. 
Devil's Kiss, is this going to kill Marcus? Looks like it, yeah, Marcus is down. You don't get any reward for this battle, so I'm not even going to bother to resurrect him, to be honest. Pretty sure I've stolen uh, everything this thing has. So just another few physical attacks should see this creature off. Slow is annoying, but not the end of the world. Devil's Kiss! And because these two can't be poisoned, I mean, eh, just use Cure occasionally, as and when it is necessary. Just waiting for Steiner's ATV gauge to fill up, which will happen eventually. There we go. Lazara! Steiner's getting Lazara. Nah. <laughs> that was underwhelming. And the slow appears to be off now. Jolly. And it escapes. That's why you don't get anything for this battle. You don't actually kill it, it just runs away. And then you finally arrive at your destination. We're finally here. I think the Gargan is tired too. I never knew such a place existed in Alexandria. Where are we? Let's keep moving. <coughs> is this really Alexandria? Well, it must be. How do we get out? Hmm. Well, this way. Princess, let us make haste. Wait, Steiner. I know this place. Dr. Tot told me about this place. My ancestors built this place, there are far too many of these places, to keep enemies from invading. Dr. Tot also said, Princess, we can hear your stories later. The stale air cannot be good for us. And we've got to save blank. Right, we need to hurry. Let's go. You? What kind of trick is this? I didn't do anything, don't blame me. You really didn't do anything? You don't believe me? Look, we missed our chance to escape. Grrr. They fell for it. Fell for it, they did. Zorn, Thorn, I am Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto. I have returned. Let us out at once. Too bad it is. You're all under arrest. Zorn. Thorn. I've returned to Alexandria to speak with my mother. Take me to my mother. Yes, we will take you to see Queen Bran, whether you like it or not. Capture Princess Garnet, Queen Bran said. Orders us, she did. What? Lies! What's going on? And our little interlude with the princess comes to an end. Can you stand, Freya? It is nothing. Take it easy, okay? How about you, Vivi? Y yeah, I'm alright. So, what now, people? They said they were going to Clara. We have no choice. We must go to Clara too. I knew you'd say that. You coming, Vivi? Um, do you think we'll learn more about those black mages if we go to Clara? Yeah, I'd say we'll learn a lot about them as long as we follow Bran and that Kuja guy. Then I'm with you. Clara? Sound yummy. I go with you. But, oh, and what about the princess? Dagger? I'd never forget about her. She might not be here in Bermesia, but I know we'll find her soon. Well, let's move out. Some say it lies in the desert west of Bermesia, but I know not whether we can enter the town itself. Brighten up a little, we'll figure it out when we get there. Oh, Dagger, where could you be? And there we go. We are outside Bermesia once again. I'm going to save the game here. And we will call the video here as well, now that we are back in uh, or back in the company of Zidane and friends. We've also got some equipment that it might be worth, well, equipping, but never mind, we'll worry about that another time. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys will catch me at another time in another video and enjoy doing what you're doing. Ciao, ciao.